like a ridiculous question to ask. Why are there rocks on the beach? Well, why shouldn't there be rocks on the beach? It feels natural. No one ever really looks at a pile of rocks and goes, that's some suspicious stone. No, you don't really think to ask the question. But it's been bugging me for ages. Really think about this massive pile of beach boulders. How did they actually get here? And it turns out it's actually not a ridiculous question. It's a spectacular question. One with a beautiful story to tell too. So come with me and we're gonna find out why these massive beach boulders of all different shapes and colors and sizes ended up here, right next door to the ocean. I'll leave my pet rock just there where he's safe. I'm definitely gonna come back and pop him in my collection. <laughs> Cliffs, coastlines, beaches and beach boulders are all masterpieces of erosion. So what's erosion? Erosion is the most powerful, most persistent force of nature. It's basically nature's chainsaw. Erosion over millions of years blows wind, pours rain and crashes waves so much that entire landscapes disintegrate away. Rocks break and tumble down cliffs, soil is blown away and sand is washed into rivers. But all this eroded stuff ends up somewhere. It doesn't just disappear. These broken pieces usually find themselves transported from land out to sea. And what comes between the land and the sea? Beaches. Look closely. These rocks are an utterly chaotic ensemble of texture, of colour, of crystals, of complexity. But not all rocks erode the same way. Most of these boulders tumbled down a cliff and smashed once they got to the bottom. But once they landed here, nature didn't treat all of them the same way. For example, quartz is a ridiculously stable mineral on Earth's surface. And you can throw all the wind, all the rain, all the waves at a rock made of lots of quartz and you will still struggle to erode it away. These quartzy rocks are much more likely to stay intact on the beach for much longer compared to their weaker friends. And so these rocks that are weaker, they're made of less strong minerals, will probably be ground into a fine-grained sand and washed away into the sea where they'll start a new life at the bottom of the ocean. So if beach boulders mean erosion, then what got eroded around here? What's missing? A mountain range, that's what's missing. If you stood right here nearly 500 million years ago, a mountain range stretching from the Flinders Ranges to Kangaroo Island would be towering over you. And the cool thing about mountains are the rocks that form deep in their guts. The business of building a mountain range means a lot of heat and a lot of pressure under the weight of all that mountain on top. And this process of building mountains makes families of rocks that geologists can recognise. We see evidence for this Goliath mountain range all over the Florio Peninsula and Flinders Ranges. So where did this monstrous mountain range go? Over millions of years, the powerful chainsaw of erosion has cut down an entire mountain range. And this spectacular beach littered with massive boulders is a reminder of the ancient world that once was, an ancient world where mountains would be towering over me right now. And so these rocks were reborn deep inside the belly of a mountain and over millions of years they've been torn down. And now they lay here, waiting for the next million years to wash them away.